this weekend, we're about to have the ultimate fall weekend. We're gonna kick off today, Friday, by going apple picking. Unfortunately, it's about an hour and 45 minutes away, but that's not gonna, oops, ah, my coffee. This was my current tripod and I knocked down my coffee. <laughs> I wish I could say this was a pumpkin themed drink, but it's not. It's just a nice caramel macchiato because I'm basic. This is my apple picking outfit. It is just a bodysuit from Old Navy, some American Eagle jeans, this little tied up, oop, <laughs> tied up. I have no plaid or plaid shirts, but I do have this one that feels kind of like fall. So I just tied it around the waist. So it feels, you know, like a cute little fall outfit. And then I'm wearing these black combat boots. I don't freaking believe it. I just dropped my whole iced coffee while I was cleaning the mess up here. I swear, something's only happened to me. I also did try to use this thing for the first time on the back of my head. I'm hoping it looks cute if I take it like a behind the back picture. I have been so out of breath, but I don't know if you can see it very, oh, there you go. Um, I'm hoping it looks cuter <laughs> when I take pictures. Um, I'm probably gonna try to braid my hair in the car if I have time. All right, let's get going before I make any more messes. I'm getting some reinforcements at Dunkin' because my daughter started crying and I put some super simple songs on Spotify and they're making me fall asleep, guys. <laughs> so I dropped my coffee, so I already didn't have that. I'm gonna pick up some coffee, some little bagel bites to like munch on and a couple of donuts, obviously. Survivor. She just, what a cheater. What a cheater. Yeah, she went the wrong way and everything. Cheater. Our plans for apple picking kind of went sideways because when we showed up to the orchid, it was basically someone's home and it felt a little off. So we went to an exploration center, uh, which is basically a kid's place for my daughter. Now we're gonna go and head to Trader Joe's and wanna check out like the fall stuff everyone's always talking about. I don't have a Trader Joe's by me, but I do wanna try making a pumpkin bread recipe. Originally I was gonna do an apple recipe cause apple picking, but I'm gonna switch things up and try this one cause I actually really wanna make pumpkin bread. our Trader Joe's haul and I'm gonna start with what needs to go in the fridge because it's been quite a bit um, we just got some red and green grapes a bunch of cheese and I know you guys are gonna think we're cheese fanatics and we are but Josh wants to make a mac and cheese like homemade from scratch so he got some cheddar some string cheese I think just to munch on truffle cheese because if you didn't know we're obsessed with anything truffle so we haven't tried this type yet so we're excited to try that for the frozen stuff we got the Jamaican style beef patties corn and cheese arepas, and then some more Jamaican beef patties. We also wanted to try these authentic Mexican style chicken and chile tamales. Josh loves to munch on these little ham chorizo type of meats, so he got that for himself. I kind of wanted to try this out. I've never ever made like a meatloaf at home. I think the first time I tried any type of meatloaf, it was when I was already 20 years old. <laughs> so I want to see if this version is pretty good. I mean, it looks good. Some good old organic free range chicken, chives, and then I think he just got this to make our foods look pretty. Little gourmet greens. Josh loves to make anything look fancy and cute, so I'm pretty sure that's why he got these. And then just a couple of these heavy organic whipping creams. I'm going to put this stuff in the fridge first and then we'll continue. Okay, so for the rest of the haul, I got these little chocolate mousse pumpkins, pumpkin puree thing, because like I said, I wanted to make some pumpkin bread and it calls for one of these cans. We just saw this and my daughter grabbed it and put it in her little kid cart that they have at Trader Joe's. But they're basically just peaches and it said that to try it on the grill. So we're definitely gonna try it like that, I think. Like I said, we're obsessed with anything truffle. So we got tomato ketchup with black summer truffle and some truffle ranch dressing. This seasoning, I love to put it on my avocado toast or just eggs sometimes. And then just some new hot sauce to try, Green Dragon. It looked nice, sounds nice, so hopefully it tastes nice. My daughter grabbed some more bananas. We've never seen a watermelon this tiny, so 
we just thought it's cute and we want to try it out eat it Josh got himself some stellas. And then last, we got this little basil plant, which it supposedly says real soil for best flavor. We do get these at Dylan's all the time, but half the time they're like dead. <laughs> so um, I wonder if this will actually taste any different. And that was my haul for my second time ever going to Trader Hall, Trader Joe's. <laughs> And honestly, I think I was a little more satisfied this time. There were so many pumpkin flavored things. I honestly thought I caught a little bit more. Oh, I did. There's more. There's more bags. I was kind of like, oh, there's something missing. Oh my God. I was like, it definitely felt like there was more. And definitely there were two more bags. So hold on. I got these crispy, crunchy peanut butter cookies, which I'll do a taste test right now because they sound really good. And I wasn't needed some brown sugar. And then the recipe for the pumpkin bread called for some maple syrup. So I was like, okay, this looks pretty. It's nice. It's glass. I want to try it out. More cheese because it's honestly never enough with us. So milk and dark chocolate covered almonds. This sounded pretty good. Banana and almond butter, a little protein smoothie. I actually want to try it now as well. Another hot sauce. Again, the little dragon. Cute. Apparently, we got more bananas. Italian parsley. Oh, I love these. I didn't even notice he grabbed these. Cocoa water cookies. Oh, these are so good. Okay, so there's this YouTuber I watch, Alexis Aldridge, and I saw that she went to Trader Joe's and got this for her pasta and she loves it. So I was like, well, I'm going to taste it this year and see if I like it. I usually like tomato basil or marinara, but I'm going to try this one with pumpkin and butternut squash. Two little instant boba kits, some onions, and can I see these bags are so cool. They feel amazing and they're actually compostable. I had no idea that like any grocery store did that, so that's really awesome. Plus, it just looks and feels better. We've never tried plums, so we just want to try that out. As you can tell from my recent vlogs, we've been making some s'mores outside, so I told Josh that if I put this over the fire, will it melt? And he said yes. So I'm going to try it out because I love dark chocolate. I got a chicken tikka masala because it sounded good. Josh got lamb racks because he loves lamb. I don't like it. Now, this is something we both love, shishito peppers. If you haven't tried it and you like spicy, it's kind of fun because one in every, I don't know how many peppers are spicy. So you might eat 10 that are not spicy and then get one random spicy one and it's really hot, but it's really good. It's kind of like a fun game of Russian roulette with spiciness. <laughs> okay, first taste test is going to be this banana and almond butter protein smoothie, beverage with coconut water and pea protein. All right, it's going to be a good shake. Smells good. It's good. It's not thick like I expected because when I think protein smoothie, I think thick, but it's actually really good. It's very light, but I guess that's a good thing for a lot of people because a lot of people don't like strong flavors. I do, um, but this is like, I don't know, a nice little snack drink. All right, and then next on my list are the peanut butter cookies. I also apologize if I've been sounding really out of breath lately. Um, I've been just super congested, so. All right. Here they are. Are you okay? So my husband thinks this is weird, but I have always grown up where like I always smell my food first before I eat it. Whether I know it's good or it's a new food, it's just a thing. I have to like smell it <laughs> and then eat it. I've heard that that can be actually disrespectful. That's just how I grew up. Just smell it. Ooh, that smells delicious when we eat it, you know? Here's the cookie. Let's eat it. Yeah, they're good, they're yummy. They're yummy, but I just noticed that the first ingredient that's done on here is a sugar. Which, by the way, if you guys didn't know, the order in which the ingredients are listed actually signifies how much of that ingredient is in the food you're eating. So the first item on here is sugar, so that means it's mostly made with sugar. Then next would be unbleached and rich with flour or whatever, onto the last thing. So this is primarily made with sugar, and it tastes yummy. Go figure. Anyways, that was a successful Trader Joe's trip. Um, today's apple picking, not so successful, but tomorrow we're actually going to the fall festival because tomorrow is the official first day of spring, September 23rd. And so our little town is hosting a little festival. Good morning, it's Saturday and the festival is currently just starting. It's 10.03, the parade starts at 10. But the fact that we made it here before like 10.30 or 11, is awesome so i'm gonna go ahead and get down i didn't even have time to like do my hair or do anything i just wanted to make sure we would catch the parade so i'm gonna go ahead and get down and make sure i don't miss it
We just came back from the festival and it was very, very small. So there was not really much to do. The chili cook-off didn't start till 1 p.m. And honestly, after the parade, we only stayed there for like about 10 to 15 minutes because there's just not much to do. It's a very small town, so. So they really only had a couple tents up and some things were like face painting, which she's too small for. A little kids crafting table, but it's kind of geared to or older kids. I thought it was gonna be a little bit bigger and a little bit of more things to do, but that's not gonna stop our ultimate fall weekend. I skipped breakfast this morning to make it to that parade on time and my daughter had a little peanut butter jelly. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some delicious French toast, some eggs, have a nice warm, cozy breakfast. <laughs> festival fell short but that does not mean we're not gonna have a nice beautiful fall weekend sorry if this video footage is gonna be a little wonky it's because i'm filming on my phone because josh is actually recording him and cooking with the baby and um, we're making some mac and cheese and chicken nuggets for dinner tonight but like he's making it from scratch so so it's gonna be a little bit healthier very yummy hopefully he gets some good shots that i can include in this video i actually just saw that hobby hobby because one of my fall bucket list things was to create a scrapbook so this is the perfect weekend to get started on it get some materials i'm thinking about making some pumpkin bread later tonight just because I think it's gonna be so delicious to have that with coffee in the morning. That sounds to die for. So, and then maybe we can have a scrapbooking at night tomorrow. I'm back from Hobby Lobby and I did some damage, not really, it was like 60 bucks, everything, but you know, it always feels like you're getting a good deal because everything's 40% off. But just to quickly go over everything I got, I got the scrap book book. <laughs> I was standing there for like five minutes debating if I should get the white book or this um, cardboard, you know, looking paper. I think the white would give it such a clean look, but I've always loved this type of paper for scrapbooking. So I was like, let me just go with my gut. Let me go with what I've always seen and what I wanted. So I went with this one. This looks like it's a little baby starter kit with like the little papers and stickers. So I'll probably use this for when she was born. Originally, I wanted this to be a zero to one year scrapbook. Book, but now I'm thinking I'm gonna make it zero to two years so that way I can actually use up all the pages and have more memories in the book I was also debating on which like paper pattern I should pick out and essentially I really liked the colors on this one a lot of it is floral but I mean look at that it's so pretty I can't wait to like come up with designs and things are getting serious I got a little paper cutter squiggly scissors tiny scissors this i just got it because it was at the checkout line and i love gel these are gel pens cute stickers especially for daughter and just like fun the sun for like beach days cool days and then these look kind of like vintagey little um floral stickers which i think is gonna be really nice to add to the pages to make it pop plus i just realized it brings pages as well oh i got these little um like little pop out stickers as well just like sweet baby the little deer and her little registry thing um that has sent out with the letters it had like this type of woodland theme so i thought that was super cute and lastly i got these candies because these are reminding me of my grandma i talked about the green apple ones that remind me of her well these two and i haven't had these in years so when i saw them i was like wow i have to get this now that i have like the basic materials to start i'm so excited to actually start doing it especially maybe with like a hot cup of chocolate oh that's gonna be so that's gonna be such a chill night i basically just spent like about an hour buying diapers and then getting my little hoppy loppy stuff and if you're a mom i know you can relate but i had to stop myself from calling my husband because he's been my daughter like three to four times I just want to check up and be like, hey, how's everything going? Is everything okay? How's the baby? And I just stop myself because I know it's not good for either party. Like, I want my husband and daughter to realize I can take as long as I need to to do errands. Like, I don't need to be rushing. Which is something I think we all have to, like, live and learn through. Because in the beginning, I was very rush, rush, rush. Get a coffee. Go home, go home. And I feel like that kind of created that type of dependency or, like, situation where if I wanted to go out for a longer period of time, it was always met with, like, a tiny bit of resistance. Um, not to say that like anybody's in the wrong here. It's just a learning curve now um, Josh definitely he's okay with me like spending the whole day To get like a self-care day get my hair done nails and all that stuff and to like run errands of course But 
it's me i'm the problem it's me <laughs> i feel like i have to rush for some reason and i think i think it's a mom thing i know they're okay and i know they're doing it just fine without me i can take my time and they can just enjoy their one-on-one -on -one time together which is also so important being that i'm literally with my daughter 99 percent of the time she does need that one-on-one -on -one time with her dad And that's what happens when you let your husband cook, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it is the following day and it's actually already about to be 6 p.m. I've done pretty much nothing this whole day, which I want to talk about because I think that's totally fine too. I think that's such a big part of the whole fall season two, just slowing down, taking your time, spending time with family. Like I just spent about 10 minutes playing, cooking with my daughter on the floor because she took out all the pots and pans. And then she said, sit here, mommy. So I was like, okay. I got like two seasonings and we're cooking up in there. You just really have to appreciate the small moments because those are the moments that they're going to remember, that you're going to cherish. Sometimes it's not all about just getting your home clean 100% or doing a million things in a day. It's just about those small moments. With that being said, it's been a pretty relaxing, slow, chill day today. I do wanna take her to the park for a little bit because she had a very late nap and we haven't taken her in a few days. So that's definitely her happy place. And it's, at some point today, I do wanna make that pumpkin bread. I did look into scrapbooking and I thought I could start really quickly, but I just realized after pick out all my pictures, I have to print them out and then I can start. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to, I guess, organize a few photos tonight or better yet, I'm gonna like try to sit and come up with a few themes, like maybe like a pool day page, uh, of course, my pregnancy pages. So I think I'll start to plan out some of the layouts and that way I can go ahead and go through my 5 million photos and choose the ones I need. Sorry for the weird lighting. We have like white lighting here and then my dinner kitchen table area is yellow. But tonight for dinner, I'm gonna try this little Trader Joe's traditional meatball. I just got it on a whim the other day when we went to Trader Joe's, so I really wanna try and see how it tastes. It says you can heat it in the microwave or the oven, but I think heating things up in the oven always tastes a little bit better. So I'm preheating the oven now, and we already have rice made, so it should be like me loaf rice, and really just a no to low effort dinner. All I had to do was make rice. <laughs> Okay, so I just removed the package and the film, and this is what it looks like. It doesn't look too promising. I'm gonna add some more tomato sauce on top because um, right now there's like hardly anything. I'm gonna add some of this tomato basil. Okay. As you can see, I also decided to add cheese. So basically, this is like a little parmesan. Go ahead and steal this first bite and see like what the taste test is. It actually tastes pretty good. It literally tastes like a meatball. I really do think the addition of my extra sauce plus the cheese really like made it on point. Like this is actually pretty good.
pumpkin bread is finished. It looks moist, it looks good, but we're gonna do a taste test because I've never tried pumpkin bread. I don't know about you. Go ahead. No good. <laughs> I hate it. It's bad. It's not that bad. Oh, yeah. Like, would I make it again? No. But I also don't think it's bad. It's just with like a little cup of hot coffee or something. No. no. <laughs> it's bad.